The full-scale war in Ukraine continues and Russian occupiers have captured at least five intact YPR-765 infantry fighting vehicles which were provided to Kiev by the Netherlands. This information was shared by Forbes. The national information portal TISC reported on Telegram on Friday evening, August the 23rd, that during the assault in Donetsk Oblast, the opponents used a captured YPR-765 infantry fighting vehicle as an armored personnel carrier. According to the publication, the enemy assault was repelled by Ukrainian reconnaissance soldiers and the invaders suffered losses. NIP showed a photo showing an infantry fighting vehicle with two destroyed enemies lying near it. Besides being an historical oddity with a storied past, the Russian-operated YPR-765 is yet another data point in one of the most important trends as Russia's wider war on Ukraine grinds into its third year. The Russians are running out of armored vehicles. It's not for no reason that they had to repurpose a captured Dutch vehicle from the late 1970s. The Russian military went to war in Ukraine in early 2022 with around 11,000 infantry fighting vehicles and armored personnel carriers, the main vehicles for transporting infantry into battle and supporting them with gunfire. On the drone-infested artillery-peppered battlefields in Ukraine, IFVs and APCs are arguably more important than tanks. Which is why, earlier in the wider war, Carnegie Endowment analyst Michael Kaufman warned that the main Russian shortfall in armored vehicles is not in tanks, but in IFVs. That shortfall has gotten worse and worse as the war has ground on. In 29 months, the Russians have lost, destroyed, damaged, abandoned or captured no fewer than 6,500 IFVs and APCs. To make good the losses and equip new units, Russian industry has produced maybe a couple of thousand new vehicles and also retrieved from long-term storage as many as 7,000 old vehicles. Ukrainian forces have officially acknowledged the use of Western missile systems in an offensive operation on Russian territory reports The Times. The Times notes that the Ukrainian armed forces have confirmed the use of American HIMARS rocket systems to destroy bridges, pontoons and engineering equipment belonging to Russian troops in the Kursk region. The report recalls that Ukrainian forces previously demolished all three bridges across the Seam River which connected Russian-controlled areas with supply routes. As a result of these strikes, up to 3,000 enemy soldiers were trapped and military engineers were forced to construct pontoon crossings. The Times also highlighted that Russian military bloggers and international journalists have identified British, American and Italian tanks and armored vehicles used during the assault. According to the Times, the President of Ukraine, Volodymyr Zelensky, recently dismissed concerns from Western allies about the potential consequences of using Western weapons against Russian territory. He advocated for removing all restrictions on the use of such arms. Additionally, he confirmed that Ukraine had kept its allies unaware of the cross-border offensive, anticipating that they would veto any operations that breached Russia's most stringent red lines. Zelensky also noted that Russian President Vladimir Putin has not followed through on his threats of retaliation against NATO, indicating their lack of credibility. The president also urged the West to lift restrictions on the use of long-range weapons for strikes on Russian rear areas, the Times reports. Two weeks ago, Ukrainian forces launched an offensive operation in the Kursk region. The objective is to create a buffer zone to halt attacks on the border and draw enemy forces away from the front in Ukraine. Ukrainian special forces have confirmed that they have used HIMARS systems to destroy several bridges and Russian pontoon crossings in the Kursk region. In the past two weeks, Ukrainian forces have captured a significant number of Russian soldiers. The Washington Post wrote that in 10 days, more than 300 Russian prisoners of war from the Kursk region were sent to one of the Ukrainian prisons. The Security Service of Ukraine also conducted a special operation in which 102 Russian soldiers were captured in one day.